Welcome to La Jolie Very High School in the city of Saint Sébastien sur Loire in Nantes in France. We are co-teaching business English to a class of 12th grade students. This subject is interdisciplinary. I am the management teacher and here that's my colleague, the English teacher. What is interesting in this type of co-teaching model is that we use project-based learning and teamwork. So with this class, we decided to work on empathy, in particular in the field of conflict resolutions. Um, teenagers may have sometimes uh, problems uh, not knowing how to deal with some types of, uh, some types of uh, situations they can even be highly sensitive or uh, overreact. Uh, we truly believe it's the role of the school to educate our young people to recognize emotions and to, be imp and to implement skills such as communication, mediation, negotiation, empathy, uh, persuasion, and uh, or active listening, assertiveness. Therefore, in this lesson, the students are going to work on conflict resolution. Some students may be ill at ease with talking about conflict resolution, so we are going to make a role-playing activity so they will have to imagine a um, situation where there is a conflict. First step, they discuss different conflictful situations and they decide together in groups which one they are going to play in front of the class. Step two, they play the situation in front of the class. And step three, the class comments on the situations and they identify the, um, the emotions experienced by the characters and the social skills needed to solve the conflict. Effectivity makes it possible to develop communicative, innovative and social skills when they prepare the role play to facilitate interaction between students and free expression of each pupil and awareness raising by peers. Students are used to role playing activities in language classes and with the role play. They learn to put themselves in the other person's shoes, to get out of one usual role and learn what is called psychic plasticity, so that the ability to change one's perspective. So, let's start. So we participate in this project called Kikos. I gave you this uh, document uh, where you are going to work in groups of three or four, okay? And it's written here, you have to imagine a conflict um, that happened with your classmates, like your friends or your family. So it can happen at home, it can happen um, at school or when you are at a party with your friends, okay? And so you have to define the type of conflict, you have to define the type of conflict, so the context, I mean, huh? so what happened, who are the person, uh, who are the people involved, when, where, and what is the conflict about. So we'll be working in groups like that, okay? And the goal of this activity is to prepare a little, um, a little role play or you're going to play the scene like that with your friends and you have to show emotions for example uh, you have different types of emotions that I listed here if you have watched this movie called Inside Out where you have joy, anger, sadness, fear and disgust which are the, the basic emotions Okay? What 
what is the project you decided to choose? Our project is the Java Why did you choose this subject? We choose this subject because we are very concerned by this subject this year. So, your project is about emotions? Uh, yes, uh, in this project, uh, Zoe uh, plays happiness, uh, Manon is angry, uh, Nora is sadness, and Louis is uh, jealous. What is your project about? The name of the project is The Scooter. So, The Scooter is a little story about three friends and uh, Antoine has a, has a scooter and she, she, she gives him to, uh, to Marie, but Marie is uh, brought it in an accident in the road and I'm really angry about that and I just want uh, to know how my scooter is and I just don't care about Marie's health. The situation takes place uh, at school when the friends Emma, Antoine and me, Marie, we are going to eat. Marie announced to Antoine that she broke uh, his scooter and uh, I'm trying to calm the situation by fixing the solution. I'm really sorry Antoine but I have to tell you something about uh, the new scooter that you gave me. Uh, I fell with your scooter on the road because of the rain and I had a terrible accident and uh, I, yeah, I broke your scooter. No, okay, so it's a joke. You yeah, joking, I know no, that it's true. Joking. I'm sorry. But Mary, it, it was doing me wrong. Honestly, it, it, what is going on? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I don't have the money. I'm happy with that, but you know, now I'm in trouble with my parents. Uh, I don't have the money to, to repair it or to buy a new one. Yes, but uh, uh, it was an accident and I don't have the money to buy you a new scooter. Yeah, I know, so what? Honestly, so what? I don't know. So what? First thing, I don't uh, like <coughs> when you ask. So, I have three solutions. The first solution is that Mary uh, pay for the scooter. The second solution is that Antoine pay for the scooter. And the third one is that um, you share uh, the things. So uh, when you get uh, so when you get home, um, talk about it with your parents, and uh, we will talk about it uh, again tomorrow. Okay, so see you tomorrow. See you. Yeah, I have a little discussion with my parents about that. Uh, for for us, it's not your fault, uh, Mary, because you know with the rain in a little road. In two wheels, it's really dangerous, so they are okay to repair it, but only if I have good results at school. So, yeah, for me, it's okay now. Okay, thank you so much, Antoine, and thank you to your parents. And All the groups played situations that were both realistic and inspiring, and the students managed to identify the emotions, played, and the strategies to solve the conflicts.